I'm here with Lisa Foyles, Always Radiant, <laughs> and Steve Sinclair, uh, and we're here to talk about Star Trek, uh, the the unannounced title up until now. So so unofficial, you won't be seeing this until after E3. But uh, this was the, this is the one of the games that were very mysterious about War of the Worlds being the second one. So why don't you just give us a, a brief rundown on what we can expect to see with Star Trek? Uh, you're going to see uh, from the ground up co-op experience with uh, Kirk and Spock, man. That's uh, that's it on the couch uh, across the the network, Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, 2012. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a, a story that takes place between uh, the 2009 film and and the next film. Uh, so it's an all new story written by Ma uh, Marianne Krajic, who wrote God of War. She's collaborating with Bob Orsi, Chris and Orsi. We're working the Bad Robot, Paramount, big heavy hitters. It's uh, this is legit. Yeah, that's that's that was the big thing I got from this was not only is this, uh, you know, being helmed by the the major companies that that made the original Star Trek, but from what you guys were talking about, that uh, you guys really wanted to emphasize and were big believers in the kind of uh, bromance, the uh, oh, oh. the uh, the repartee between yeah. Kirk and Spock, and yeah. you guys really wanted to bring that out totally. with all the with all the, the not only is there cooperation, it's not just like it's not just a Gears of War clone. No. There's no, many right. unique opportunities and new. There's lots of different ways the players can cooperate. Right, and you showed us that. Absolutely. I mean, I, I think some people uh, cynical when they first hear about, oh, it's third person. Oh, it's going to be like, you know, just cover shooting, that sort of stuff. We have tons and tons of cost, custom action sequences that you saw, you know, flying in with the, the personal propulsion units and all this crazy stuff, kind of breaking up that action. Uh, the, the weapons are custom to each character. They have different abilities. You know, I showed you that mind meld in that demo, which is really, really awesome. Mm. They aren't the same dudes. They are absolutely different. Spock's approach is way more subtle, almost stealthy. You know, we kind of think of them as, as that kind of that ninja type character with the mind meld and the way that he he works. And then Kirk is much more the brawler and he's brash and his the way his uh, weapons upgrade kind of reflect that. Mm -hmm. So that's I mean that's totally what we're going for. I don't know if I missed this, but are you using the actual uh, actor voiceovers for the game? Uh, that, we haven't announced anything about oh, okay. that yet, <laughs> but I mean it's still really early. So the stuff that you saw was just like all pre-production right. stuff right now. Yep. Yeah, the, the emphasis on character was what really sold me on this one it, 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 immediately because awesome. because not only are you guys taking it seriously, but it really shows through in the writing in the sense that when the demo completed, uh, Kirk does something very very brash and borderline suicidal, yeah. and I was like I was like I buy it, you know yeah. it, it it comes from people um it comes from people who get the story and, and want to bring that out it, right down to the fact you comment on the excessive lens flares. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so I was like Need legit. More. I love those lens flares. They're awesome. I mean the the style of the film is something that obviously heavily influenced is the game so we were looking at uh, how you know we've got the ILM assets we we were looking at how they did that uh, you know JJ's like whacking the back of the camera uh, to create those shaking effects so those are things that we tried to mimic uh, the flashlights being shined into the lens those are things that we try to make I mean literally writing code that that is creating lens learning effects based on off-screen light sources mm -hmm. so absolutely heavily influenced uh, for obvious reasons with that you know even going you know talking about the asymmetry of the characters again you know the, the the 2009 film was just so awesome because it really brought the action up and they kind of they went away from that kind of pensive oh let's reverse the plasma induction coils to solve these plot plot problems it's like let's go into the belly of the beast swing fists sneak around and really get your hands dirty so that sense of, of action adventure but using the 23rd century technology I think is gonna be really what's unique about this game I mean even when we looked at the original series when we started working on the game the first episode that aired wasn't the first episode uh, you know in the series but the first episode that ended up airing was man trap and the conclusion of that episode is so awesome it's Kirk and Spock going and flanking a dude, taking cover. Of course, they're leaning on paper mache rocks and that sort of thing. But uh, you know, when they when they made that original series, the mandate was they needed to bring the ac action up, and uh, that was something that I think really resonates for gamers. So mm -hmm. I'm I'm super excited about it. I'm I'm glad you responded to the, to the end scene. I mean, that's awesome. Yeah, authenticity seems to really be the key. Um, I don't know what you thought. Did you have any questions for Steve? No, I was actually completely blown away. I mean, I love playing co-op games with another person, and even better, totally. I love it when uh, I'm playing a completely different character Absolutely. than the other person. It's not just like totally. Left 4 Dead. They're all, I mean, you're all kind of playing as the same character, essentially. Yeah. But, I mean, they're yeah. two totally different yeah. characters. So, yeah, I'm, I love it. Their I'm abilities playing. are different. Yeah. I mean, their equipment is different. The way the upgrade is different. So, I mean, we're really trying to take a swing at, like, could you play as Spock again? Mm -hmm. You know, so when their when their paths split, when they are hearing things and, and discovering parts of the story that the other one doesn't, I mean, I think it really is is great because on the if you're on the couch together, you're going to be seeing all sides of the story, which is really awesome. 
Yeah. I also appreciate that. I mean, it is far enough, uh, you know, from the movie that you guys can really take your time with it. I hate when they just, you know, yeah, you're pump not that just, out you're as not soon as the movie's the movie. going yeah. Right, exactly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, that's the great thing about our partners, which is, you know, sounds like businessy of me to say, but, you know, when we when we were first pitching the game uh, to the guys at Bad Robot, they were pounding their fists on the table and said, this has to be quality yeah. or, or it's not going to happen at all. So, I mean, that was really what inspired me because, you know, there's cynicism around about around licensed stuff, but, exactly. oh, my God, do they, do they care so much about making it awesome so and gamers appreciate that you can always tell yeah i appreciate that <laughs> i appreciate i want to work on something that like i'm super proud of yeah. so i appreciate it too professionally yeah authenticity seems to be the key but i'm sure you're a busy man uh, you got a lot more demos to give I do. and i'm sure people are very fired up about this so my last question is uh when will this be ready uh we're supposed to say 2012. <laughs> da, da, da. Da, da, da. <laughs> that's With fun dust and smoke in the air <laughs> all right thank you steve all and thank right. you thank you, thank so you much. paramount oh, and everyone awesome, else awesome. nice meeting thank you thank you thanks for showing us this game awesome great interview thank you thank you all right.